Greetings entities and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Quick Run Oven Break where we're going to be focusing on an event in this video because recently season 7 just came out, I'm pretty sure it's season 7 at least, I haven't done research on that yet, but basically it's the uh, Bountiful Harvest update with a uh, Vagabond cookie and also later Rebel cookie, but basically there's a new event where if you look over here there's an event called Hangout with Vagabond cookie and basically this is just like, uh, just do a bunch of stuff with Vagabond cookie and you get loot for it and apparently I already have a bunch of loot for it already done and it's pretty interesting because i think that top reward for 100 hearts is actually really good because that would be too free of the uh, new treasure especially if you have it at like level one or you don't even have it unlocked yet and that would be really handy to have so in fact you even just get the same thing at level uh, or like 60 hearts but basically here's how it works it's just like you do tasks and all the way down here there's a lot of tasks that you can do but it should add up to like you know 100 hearts at the very most even though it does say uh i think at the bottom somewhere it's like I could have sworn it said, okay, down there, it says you can keep doing missions after reaching 100 points. Which, I, I guess it makes sense, because uh, this one over here says trophy race earned 300 million points with a mission combi, and that's for every day. So, there's that, but I've also done a couple missions, because, you know, I did some recordings before even talking about this event. So, we have activate Vagabond Cookie skill three times with a mission combi, I'm pretty sure I did that in the trial. And because of that, I got three hearts. So I get that, and also 30,000 coins. And I've also reached gold 1 Vagamon Cookie Trial, which means I got 3 hearts and also th uh, 300 magic powder. Then upgrade Vagamon Cookie's magic hand to level 5, which gives me 5 hearts, and also one of these uh, treasure enhancement tickets. And also, I have created something in the magic laboratory 5 times, which that was basically the magic candy that I also made from. And uh, that will give me 5 hearts again, and also 500 magic powder. Now, you can actually get one very easily. Just check this out. You can just go over here. Uh, swap, I swap my lime out for a bit just with a vagabond. And look at that, done. Just for, for just for simply placing vagabond cookie in the lobby, you get 100 crystals and also three hearts. And literally just with doing all that progress, I'm already nearly at 20, which is impressive because literally just getting 20 will give you 100,000 coins. Uh, doing 40 will give you five quick play tickets. Uh, 60 would be uh, one of the uh, rice cake treasurer things. Uh, 80 would be 1,000 crystals, and 100 would be two of the uh, rice cake treasure things, which getting three of those is actually going to be very helpful, and better because I don't want to spend a bunch of crystals on treasures that I have a chance of not even getting. So, basically this video is just going to be me doing a couple things in the event, just to try and get more points out of it. Of course, a lot of things are going to be trying to do off camera, but then again, it might even not even, like, add up to plumbing a you know, a, a hundred hearts, only just because there's still stuff I have to do, like for example, like there's just the everyday mission combi, uh, is there any other everyday mission combis? I don't think so, I think that's only the one, but then again, it just requires a lot of playing and a lot of play time, so there's a lot of trial and effort to be put into this, so you have to give me a lot of time just to even play. <laughs> look at the master, it's in Master League. Uh, anyway, if I look over here at the events again, I can hear it with the music. One of the things I have to do is I have to run a trophy race with this specific combi, being uh, the plubbing Yakwa Pupper and also uh, Vagabond Cookie. So what I guess I'm going to have to do is they have to be at the front, I think, because, you know, I need to have the combi actually set to them. And I guess maybe I could set the, uh, you know, Vagabond Cookie as like the reserve runner, but still i i don't know i just want to be i just want to be 100 percent safe and just like use these cookies i'm not going to actually run in a race though like that would be stressful enough as it is and i don't think i'd be tempted enough to do like a five star especially with a cookie that i just got and barely have any experience with so i'm probably just going to do free star and oh i forgot there's a new map endless days of the tbd well remind me that i need to do a video uh practicing on that but uh yeah let me just set this to three star because i don't want this to go too plumbing crazy uh then again the increased game speed could probably get me more jellies but right now i'm just aiming for 300 million points even if i don't get it with the uh, you know vagabond cookie it should still be fine because i should sure pl be able to get it with the uh, snake fruit in my reserve if i don't i have I, I have no idea what to think i probably need to do some more upgrading for vagabond and as far as i know there's no way for me to buy some more vagabond cookies i'm not sure if uh heck is even custom runs available again I think, I think it still is. I think it's still open, but I don't think I can buy a Vagabond cookie uh, in there. Because I don't think it's available. And as far as I know, I don't think I've seen any, like, custom run missions available so far in, like, these events. So, it's kind of sad, but it's probably just because custom run's going to be ending soon. Which, I feel like, uh, halfway through the update, they're going to replace custom runs with, like, either nothing, or they're going to bring back friendly runs. Which... I made a comic about, uh, me, uh, which I should probably share that on YouTube at some point, uh, 
I made a comment about, uh, me, not comment, uh, a comic about me ranting about, uh, Friendly Run. And, like, I enjoy the concept. Like, I, I enjoy the concept of just, like, oh, you get to actually, like, be cooperative with a friend. And, like, form your path. How did I miss that? Are you kidding me? I did not miss that at all. And if, uh, I, I, if someone get, like, a mathematical equation how I missed that one. But, dear lord. But, anyway. Uh, get those. Uh, anyway, I said that, like, I really enjoy the concept of Friendly Run, but what I hate is the fact that there, there have been no new combis since, like, over a year ago. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh, plumbing rev rev. There's a motorcycle outside, I guess. Uh, but, like, there have been no new, like, Friendly Run combis ever since, like, over a year ago, and I'm not even joking. Because, uh, uh, I think the last new combi that, that we actually got for Friendly Run was actually, uh, Shining Glitter Cookie and Popping Candy Cookie. That was, that was like the update, well, it wasn't, wasn't that the update like after, uh, Operation Time Guard? I think it was. I was pretty stoked for that update too, it was pretty fun. Probably just because I love the music aspect of it, but still. Just add some new pub and commies, there's so many opportunities, like you have tons upon tons of cookies that you can like, get good kind of like, combi ideas for. And yet you haven't done anything with that in like over a year. At least like... At the bare minimum, like, add one new one every single time. And, yeah, I understand that, like, you know, if you want to add a new combi, like, you're probably going to have to, like, make a new custom skill for them. Like, you know, something, uh, a good example is, like, Rockstar and DJ Cookie skill, where it kind of makes something new entirely. But, like, there's some that, like, don't even do that. Like, Squid Ink and uh, Pirate Cookie, those are, the, those are just, like, both of their skills just separately activated at the same time. Really, it's just like, there, it shouldn't be much of an issue, but, I don't know, and somehow I got an S plus on that, even though that was definitely not optimal with the cookies that was provided, but, I don't know, just like, that's, that's my, uh, daily friendly run complaint, even though I never complain about it daily. Shut up. Do I have anything new? Oh, I guess I could do Escape the Oven, I don't know, whatever works. So, uh, it could either be the Long Game one, or the Escape the Oven one. I'm probably gonna do, actually, the Long Game one, because I think it's gonna provide me more points. But basically what I can do, I can generate a whole entire combi that fits my needs, and just see how good it does me. But, what I need to do is, I need to get Yaka, uh, plumbing, what? Yakawa cookie? Oh uh, no, a Vagabond cookie at the front, and just edit that, because I need to apply plumbing points to this, and... It's gonna be somewhat painful to the fact that I gotta swap out plumbing sugar glass cookie, but I'll probably just do a, uh, re well, a rerun. Just a whole entire rerun on this in general, but I need to have the mission combi and stuff like that available to me. And, plumbing is painful, but you know what? Uh, I'm not sure if it has to be, like, only, uh, Vagabond cookie who gets the points. I guess maybe I'll test that if I, uh, you know, replay through the run, but basically what matters is that I need to get far, and I didn't get a lot of points. So, I don't, I'll get far, but it does state that I need to get a lot of points running with a Vagabond cookie in these trials. Well, why did I say trials? I meant breakout. I'm sorry, I'm too focused on trying to actually hit the thing, because apparently according to this game, you need to be perfect with all your hits. Or else, like, if you're not perfect, then basically say goodbye to, like, whatever uh, million points that you're going to get. Even if you were a little bit early, you still get a couple points. But if you're a little bit late... Nope, goodbye. Like, I still don't know what was up with that, with that, like, random dodge. Or, like, that random miss, what am I saying? But, uh, anyway, as you can see, we're getting a lot of points already. We're already nearly at 100 million, and I forgot what, like, the stipulations were for, like, trying to get points here, but I know it was, like, a certain lot. I think it was, like, get a certain amount of points in a single run, and then there was another one where it was, like, get a certain amount of points in total. It was probably, like, 1 billion points or something, but I'm pretty sure it was only with this cookie in general, so I think I have to do, like, a lot of replaying through. Or I have to do, like, I have to, like, run through breakouts so many plebbing times, and that's gonna be upsetting. If I just have to keep running through them every single time. Because that means it's just gonna be repetitive gameplay. Please, give me all of the points. Oh, if only I could reach those plebbing levers, I swear. I'm missing so many rainbow jellies, I swear. Makes me hurt. Hurt on the inside. Man, my skill is really only gonna, like, activate twice. It's kind of short. I really need to get, uh, plumbing Vagamon cooking some levels, I swear. Level 4 is- Well, I do have the egg. But I don't even think the egg's gonna be enough. Like, I s seriously. Oh my lord, I gotta invest in some crystals, I swear. Cause, come on, only like- Oh wait, 
Oh, actually, big potion. Okay, you know what? That egg of revival was really worth it. Okay, and also I got those, so extra points. I can at least make it to, like, maybe 270 points. I don't know, maybe my skill can activate now. Thank you, Pupper. Uh, maybe? There's always a chance, but I don't know. It depends on how many points these, uh, jellies get me. Trying to focus on that. Okay, okay, cool, that's actually 300 million points, that's nice. Isn't that the required amount that I needed? I thought it was. Oh, get all those, just for a bonus flex. Uh, okay, so there's that. And I can give a quick gander to, uh, what I'm looking like in regards to the actual event, because I know I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of playing in my off time, off camera. But, yeah, if I go over to the events real quick, uh, I got a couple, actually. Uh, yeah, 300, uh, no, 200 million points, that's all I needed. And, uh, there was another one where, uh, it was down here in Breakout, right? Yeah, 1.5 billion points with the mission copy. Maybe I could just get that replaying through again and again and again. If not, then uh, scrap that theory out the window. But there's still long-term ones like 1,000 Affection and 500 Affection. Uh, upgrading the Pupper and Vagabond to level 15, which is going to take a long time. And yeah, it's just going to be a crazy ride. So let me just get this for now, which is 5 hearts plus 50,000 points. Let me get this, which is uh, 3 hearts plus 5 Yellow Sugar Crystals. And lastly, this, which is 5 hearts and 3 things for the Magic Candy, which unfortunately... I already have their magic candy at max, but hey, maybe I can actually use that for affection just to feed them. But I will obtain all and every rewards once I have it fully maxed out, once their friendship is absolutely full, and it's gonna be a good time. Alright, so it took a couple of days, but you know what? I got it all done. And let's get some better music. Some more fitting music. Like, I really like the spookiness, don't get me wrong, but we're kind of past that update. As you can see, if I go over to the events over here... I have two things done. I've like last thing I've gotten was the daily mission where it's get basically run with a combi of Vagamon Cookie and his pet, and just run like run enough to get 300 points on the trophy race. It has to be practice and or it has to be you know an actual run. But I'm doing practice because I'm safe, and also I even got him to 500 affection. So with that, I get 50,000 coins and five hearts. And lastly, I get 30,000 coins and five hearts, which means it is now. Fully 100% completed. Well, it's not 100% completed per se because you can still get other rewards like, you know, coins, crystals, treasure tickets, and stuff like that. However, it's still enough just so you can get these rewards. Get, you can get these rewards on the left side. So at 20 hearts, you can get 100,000 coins. For 40 hearts, you get five quick play tickets, like, uh, like, quick main story play tickets, you know, quick play, you know, uh, for 60 hearts, you get one of the new Chusiak, uh, food treasure things, the mooncake things, rabbit, rice cake, yeah, rice cake, I don't know why I call them mooncakes, probably because moon rabbit cookie, eight, I was gonna say 800, 80 hearts gives you 1,000 crystals, and the top reward at 100 hearts is two of the rice cake treasure rewards, which is good, especially if you want the new treasure without having to spend a lot of crystals and being unlucky at the treasure draw, so these are definitely helpful. So, I guess this is kind of where I can end the video. It took a little bit of time, but you know what? I'm happy that I was able to get everything done. I'll even get the bonus mission on camera just for you, 100 crystal, so sweet. But with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share it with, share it with your friends more quick run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future, and also I have merchandise if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all, and also I have a Discord down in the description below if you want to join it, because it's a fun time down there, and I'm trying to expand it each and every single day, but above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hypenese!